everybody, it's Adam, and we are coming to you from AATS, and we're very happy to be with Dr. Junaid Khan, who many of you probably recognize has held a, a wonderful patient education uh, seminar in Oakland, California. We've got a great question for you, Dr. Khan. It comes in from Peter, and Peter writes, Adam, I was diagnosed with moderate aortic stenosis two years ago. Unfortunately, I lost my job and have not had an echo in several years. I'm experiencing shortness of breath. Is it possible that the severity of stenosis has progressed that quickly? Well, you know, that, Peter, that's a great question. I think uh, you have every right to be concerned. Aortic stenosis in patients can be very serious. And I think of it like falling off of a cliff. And one of the things that you can get worried about when you're falling off a cliff is when you have symptoms. Shortness of breath is definitely a symptom of aortic stenosis. The classic study on aortic stenosis, natural history, when people started to have symptoms and shortness of breath being one of them, half of them died in two years. I would strongly encourage you to get a follow-up echo. If you don't have insurance, there are places that actually will do the echo, you know, county hospitals, things like that. I think the sooner you figure out what's going on, the better you can deal with this problem. Wow. So I hope that helped Peter. Dr. Khan, as always, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for all the patient education that you're doing up in Oakland. We really appreciate it. I know a lot of patients went to the event, and hopefully you'll be having some more in the future that we can continue educating patients along the way. And you know, Adam, thank you for your book. I mean, I think a lot of my patients have thanked me for providing them the resource of that book because they've learned so much about how to deal with heart surgery, both patients and their families. So thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Keep on ticking.